Today is a very exciting day. I personally I am a Subaru fan. I grew up in a Subaru family. My dad had a Neon, had the BF Legacy, the BG, the BH, and now has a BP. And I can tell you for a fact that I have learned the Subaru DNA from when I was very young. So I'm very excited today because I'm in the cabin of the Outback, the latest Outback. And I can tell you for a fact the level of premiumness in this car is unbelievable. Gone are the days in the 90s when Subaru are only known for producing fast cars, the STI and the, and the Forester Turbos, now they have a new, older, mature audience that need premium vehicles that compete, can compete with the likes of the Audi A6, you know, the BMW 5 Series, and of course the Mercedes E-Class wagon. And this particular car has it all. Kama Kawaida, we start with the center console as you can see here so but i've gone for the butch look you know you have edges on the dashboard and it's lined with leather stitched leather as you can see here and there's a panel of wood and of course a stainless steel trim that give this car that premiumness that you deserve so guys as you can see the center console here has a piano black finish with silver trimming around it to give it that premiumness as i mentioned earlier and you can see here there's a multi-touch information display that houses climate control which is very standard and, and of course an audio system and not forgetting it has the capacity to do android auto and apple carplay system so you can plug in your phone and use the system around it to make sure that you have a good navigation journey while driving the outback the music on this particular car is courtesy of Harman Kardon dope quality premium sound 825 watts and it sounds like this <laughs> listen to that sound <laughs> listen to that sound that is quality sound courtesy of Harman Kardon and you can see how Subaru have gone the extra length to ensure that this particular Outback meets the premium expectations of the premium customer speaking of that you have dual zone climatic condition you can actually control the different temperatures from different sides if I want cold weather and you want hot weather we can all use this particular system to power up our system and enjoy the long journey courtesy of the Outback. Of course, over here you do have the gear shift console. It's a Tiptronic functionality where you have park reverse neutral and manual mode and it's a CVT. Guys, you know me and CVTs are not good friends, but it's been tuned for efficiency and that's something that you need to understand. You have plenty of cables and spaces as you can see here. You have your mobile uh, you can store a mobile phone here. It has actually wireless charging if your phone has that capacity and of course you have uh, you know, electronic park brake, hill descent control and X mode. X mode is basically all-wheel drive mode so it allows traction to be di distributed on all four wheels without slipping and that is the beauty of symmetrical all-wheel drive obviously on the instrument binnacle here which is very important it is it has a light blue hue so it, it doesn't overpower the eyes of the driver so it has very clear italic so you can see what is happening on the left hand side you have a tachometer and of course on the right hand side the speedometer and in between you do have um, a multi-information display that gives you uh, the level of fuel um, and also critical aspects of the vehicle so for example if your door is open um, if you have any sensor issues in the vehicle it will tell you this particular car has everything steering comfortable as you can see um, you do have satellite buttons here on the left it's volume and speech recognition and on the right you do have cruise control which is adaptive and of course it has the eyesight which is a stereoscopic camera to ensure that you don't hit the car in front of you We need to find out if these seats are comfortable. I personally am comfortable. These seats are hugging and the leather, they are perforated with heat and cooling. And obviously you have uh, some settings here for position. So if you are two drivers, you can actually set your position. And then once you shift, you just press one or two and the seat adjusts itself automatically just to give you that comfort that you are looking for. And obviously the passenger here also has some eight way power settings just to make them comfortable. But the question is at the back, are people comfortable? We have enough luggage space. We're going to find out as Mirigi take us through the rear of the Subaru Outback. So in the back of the Subaru Outback, the thing that has really made me happy here is the amount of space it has. Seat in the front is set to travel sitting position. He's 6'1", he's a big boy, you all know that. Look at how much space I have over here. And there's so much more space for the stuff that you have. Because over here we have um, what we call airline style seat backs. There's loads of space all over the cabin over here. They actually have cup holders in the side of the doors over here, as well as in the middle here. Enough for you to uh, keep the kids busy. Talking about the kids, we actually have ISOFIX uh, anchor points over here for the, 
for if you have a baby seat for instance and there is ac at the back here and two 5 volt usb chargers to make sure that all their devices are fine let's check out the boot see just how much more space the outback has to offer <laughs> so don't worry i'm not in any trouble but as you can see there is so much space in the back here the outback actually has a larger boot capacity than a volkswagen touareg come inside and let me show you some of the stuff we have here we actually have a space saver spare tire but a massive amount of space you can pull down each of the seats using the handles over here and over here we have the subwoofer for that Harman Kardon surround sound system that Trevor loves so much so there's enough space here for all the stuff that you need and most of the stuff that you could possibly want so let's take this on the road and see how the Outback handles we've done with the subtle features of the Subaru Outback now it's time to talk about the power people are always asking me what kind of power does the Outback have now this particular version you can actually get the Outback on two derivatives you can actually have the 3.6R which is a six cylinder which does close to 240 horsepower or this this is a 2.5 liter four cylinder 16 valve twin cam or dock as you'd call it and it produces roughly about 170 horsepower and 225 newton meters of torque now all that power is sent to the four wheels courtesy of a six-speed cvt automatic gearbox the reason why cvt is there is because of efficiency there's nothing much so it gives you a good economy run on an average about 12 kilometers to the liter on a combined cycle but this also depends on so many factors it could be the load of the car um, it depends on so many factors the driving style the techniques and you're able to achieve this because this guy is very fuel efficient power is transmitted to the four wheels that is why i want us to talk symmetrical all-wheel drive now all-wheel drive is a system where power is delivered to all four wheels equally and has a center differential okay so if the wheel feels the slippage then what happens it engages and slows down the wheels that are moving faster transferring all the torque to the required wheels so that you don't have slip and that's the advantage of symmetrical all-wheel drive now paired with the lower center of gravity flat four engine gives this car unparalleled balance as you drive through any kind of surface and that's the beauty of a subaru How does it feel on the road? It's quiet. The amazing thing about the Outback is the level of noise, vibration, and harshness suppression. There are things that have been dampened. The soundproof cladding on the doors, on the firewall, on the transmission tunnel. This guy is so quiet. You know, if you're driving through um, Nairobi traffic and you know you don't feel the hustle and bustle, the Outback becomes the quiet place for you. You relax driving this car. It's comfortable. The steering is actually very, uh, you know, it's heavy. It's, it's, it's got that feel, you can tell where the wheels are pointing at any given time. But, if you need more power like now, the different modes, Sport Sharp Intelligent and Sport, will allow you to explore the full potential of this flat four engine and still give you a good fuel economy figure of about 12.1 if you are lucky. Now in terms of safety, people are wondering. Now, Subaru is synonymous with safety. One thing that I can tell you for a fact is a mix of active and passive safety features that allow you to literally enjoy the Subaru in all safety sets. How do you do that? Active features, active ABS anti-lock braking system, vehicle stability control to get you out of trouble, and of course, you have symmetrical all driving wet weather. You have enough grip to ensure that your car remains full of traction at any given surface. And if all hell breaks loose, then you can rely on the eight airbags that this car has across the cabin. And of course, you do have crumple zones that dissipate all the impact energy away from the passenger cell. And of course, you do have the safety belt, which is the most important thing when you're driving the Outback. So Trevor has just shown you how this handles itself on the road. And we are taking it off-road because the main reason that somebody buys an Outback as opposed to a legacy station wagon is the fact that it can handle its business off the road. And so far, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. This obviously has very high ground clearance. And in addition to the asymmetrical all-wheel drive that Subaru is famous for, this has something called X-Mode. Now, that X-Mode is a, a subset of the technology 
for that all-wheel drive system that is specific for all roading so it figures out what each tire is doing and gives it enough power for that situation so it's actually a very good thing to have when you're off the road the other advantage is that this is lighter than most off-roaders so it actually is very nimble getting into and out of places that are very interesting in addition to this it also in some models will have a 360 degree camera which is very important when you're doing off-roading so that you can see exactly where your tires are although you still need to walk the course just like any off-road situation x mode also has hill descent control which is also a very important part of getting up to and down some of these hills and valleys that we are presented with in this country so so far this has handled itself very well i'm not surprised it is a subaru We've tested extensively the Subaru Outback. I can tell you still lives to the heritage of the Subaru brand. It's tough, it's reliable, it's practical, and of course now it's premium. It's on the next level. But Mr. Murigi, who are the key rivals of this car? This is a very difficult question because this is one of the last station wagons in the market. You know station wagons used to be the biggest thing in the world at about 20% market share. Yes. Now it's gone all the way down to 2.5 because of compact SUVs. This is definitely not an, a compact SUV. Fortunately or unfortunately, yes. this doesn't have any competition. Nobody else is selling a station wagon. So the only thing that you could think of would be in terms of price. Yes. And in price, you'd have to select maybe a compact SUV. Yes. Probably something along the lines of a CX-9 because of just how much space this has. Now, how much is this particular car? This particular car comes in at 7.2 million shillings. But for the real petrol heads, the 3.6 litre is available for 8.5 million shillings. And remember, this comes with a three-year, 100,000-kilometer warranty, courtesy of Subaru Kenya, and of course, you can rely on the extensive network across the country and be able to take care of your car as soon as you buy this particular car. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on Cars the Big Boy Trev. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or queries, don't hesitate to write to us as seen on the social media handles below. And we'll get back to you next week. Starting off, this is Big Boy Trev. This is Mirigi. Drive safe. And be safe.